the little struggles or like stressful situations is just a part of like the whole experience. I regret not just like being in the moment and just enjoying it for what it is. Do you think you have balance in your life? Um, it's kind of, I guess balance is like subjective, but as in like, what would you call it? Like career or like what you do for fun or whatever, I guess, yes. Like, I feel like I just want to train a lot and then I have to do a lot of other stuff by the side. And what I do at the moment, like throughout my days make me feel content. So I'd say that I have balance, yes. What other hobbies slash creative outlets do you have? Um, I, I'm very into photography um, outside of parkour, um, which I kind of did like, I didn't do it before I did parkour, but I kind of started doing it as like a side thing, like very separate. Like I went around like shooting photos of like buildings and stuff kind of a lot. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of cool to have something on the side that it's not very like, it's not intense and it's not gonna like, scare you while you're doing it. You can really just take your time, like framing a photo and just walking about and just like, it's just a whole different process I enjoy about that. But then recently that has kind of like become a part of parkour as well to me. Cause now I kind of like shoot a lot of parkour, which is kind of cool. Cause then I get to like put my two main hobbies together, which is really sick. But I guess that's a side hobby as well. Cause I would do it like if parkour wasn't a thing for me as well. So yeah. Uh, what do you regret and why? Um, to be honest, I feel like I don't really regret many things, even though maybe I should. I'm not sure actually. Because I feel like a lot of people go on about things they regret and why and all of that. But I don't really think about it that much. <laughs> but if I would, it would probably be like, well, I can regret things like when I'm on a trip sometimes, like doing something like whatever, I can kind of feel like, you know, it's a lot going on. It's a bit stressful and it's kind of putting you in like an awkward position or whatever. And then it's just like stressing you out and you're feeling a bit bummed about it. And then whenever you get back home from doing like a trip or whatever, then you think back about it. And it's like, why didn't I just enjoy it? Like the little struggles or like stressful situations is just a part of like the whole experience. I regret not just like being in the moment and just enjoying it for what it is. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm not counting these, am I? Four. Four. Who is your biggest inspiration outside of parkour? Um, I'm not sure actually. Um, I do watch quite a lot of skateboarding videos and there's this one skater called Chris Jocelyn who I just kind of like, I don't relate to him, but like the way that he approaches his skateboarding is just like kind of jumping down big shit for the sake of it and not really trying to like, not trying to like make it out to be something that it's not. It's really just like, very raw and I don't know, I just really enjoy watching him like talk about his skating and then just the skating part as well. So I guess I'd say Chris Jelson, yeah. Do you feel you have a purpose in life and why? Both yes and no, I'd say. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like I have a direction more than a purpose. Like I know what I enjoy doing and I kind of like try to redirect all my energy towards that but then I don't really know like the end purpose or goal with that, which would be like parkour and like doing something big <laughs> with parkour at the end, but I don't know what like the actual purpose of it is. Um, so more so a direction like with all of that than like a purpose, if that makes sense. Trying my best here. <laughs> uh, the hardest battle you faced in parkour. Oh, it's a tricky one actually. I feel like there's been quite a lot. It's like very mental. One that I can think of is like, in the recent like, in the recent Keeper video that we dropped, um, quality control, it was like my ender for that was a, was a running free in Stockholm. That was like, it felt really big uh, for me to do. And it was just a weird one. Cause it was like, usually when you do running prees or whatever that you're doing, like when you look at it at first, it can look massive and it's like, oh, it's not gonna happen. But when you like start to prep it, it just makes sense. And it's like, somewhere it just kicks in your mind like okay I can actually do that and that's when you go for it type thing but that running pre was just like 
whenever I looked at it, it just looked fucked. Like I'm never gonna end up over there. <laughs> like it just felt like everything just said no in my head. But then when I counted out the steps, I knew that I could do it. But it was just a weird thing of just like, it really didn't look like I was gonna end up on that wall. So it was really weird to actually just like, <laughs> just take the run up and just jump <laughs> and just hope that I like measured it out correctly. And that was really hard to like actually come over in my head, but it worked out, but that was really weird. Cause usually like, I wouldn't train like that. If you don't see it, you shouldn't like go for it. But that's what happened, it was right. Do you consider yourself to be a professional at what you do? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I train as like a hobby, I'd say. I don't make money for, like, from it either, so it's just a hobby. I'd like to be, I like it to be a profession, but it's definitely not at this time. Favorite up and coming athlete and why? Mm. It's a few different ones I kind of come to think about, but maybe, maybe Simon Pronk from Germany. I uh, was also part of, of GFAM, um, who just always amazes me whenever I see him train. Cause he's like, He's a bit younger, but his movement is so like, I know it's so well developed. I feel like he's not holding anything back and like his style is so on point and like everything he does and he always just amazes me with like the lines and you can come up with and just make him work flawlessly. Um, so I'd probably say Simon Pronk, yeah. Number nine. <laughs> Tracer, free runner or parkourist? Um, don't know, I've never used the word tracer or parkourist before. Uh, I guess free runner would be the one out of them three, but I don't really use any of them. I usually just say that I train parkour, but tracer, I don't think anyone says that to be honest. <laughs> Your favorite country for training and why? Hmm. I don't know, I ha I've had very good experiences in, I'd say like it's a split between like Germany and England probably. And that is just mainly down to like, in Germany I have very good friends, like the GFAM lot, and they just like know pretty much everyone. It seems like around, well, basically any city as well that we go to. So like that just makes it, I don't know, such a good time just like going about meeting all the people within a community and it doesn't even have to have good spots because of that. You can just like meet a lot of people and because of that you have a bunch of fun. But then like, on the other hand, going to England, you just have amazing spots and amazing people. <laughs> but I just haven't been out here as much either. So it's like probably mixed between those two. And that was all the questions. <laughs>